Hey guys. So you remember this oldie, right? Well, you can say goodbye to it for now because we have the Hyphonics uh, GEX 1200.2. Yes, I did use this earlier. I only tested it for about half an hour just to see if it worked, what worked. Everything works. It sounds great. I love it. So what you get in the package is you get a quick start installation guide. <clears throat> it just tells you everything you need to know. I got uh, information, which I'm not going to show you, on uh, you know the box, and then you get a sticker. And the reason why I don't want to show you it is because my personal info is on there, and I don't feel like having that out there. So, um, as you can tell, I have two wires running to the positive and the negative because this needs, uh, I think it was four gauge. Yeah, it needs a four gauge uh, cable size for uh, the, the positive and the negative or the ground. So, let me quickly hook this up and I will uh, show you some pretty cool stuff on it. Also, what I also forgot to mention was that you get the uh, harness for plugging it in. You get uh, four mounting screws, you get two extra fuses, and you get two Allen wrench heads, which I'm going to need this one in a second. So, see you in a second. So, hey guys. <clears throat> I am taking four ohms to this amplifier right now. Uh, just a single sub, because I don't feel like... Uh, blasting the roof off of my place <laughs> so um, I'll get this all ready and set for you and then I will have a little fun with you guys so for today for the test I'm going to be using woofer cooker you guys know that song it's quite famous for blowing up songs As you can tell, it's 33 hertz, or it should be in the 30s for uh, hertz. I have a bit of a bass boost on. Actually, I think the bass boost is maxed out because I was, like I said, testing it earlier. There we go. That's better. So right now, it's on mono because that's what you're supposed to run on this amp with uh, subs, but you can use stereo. It's just a little less uh, bassy. You have your low, pa low pass uh, frequency, which I'm actually going to uh, tinker with. You got your high pass, uh, you got your bass EQ, which actually does affect the sub quite a lot. You got your level, which is not volume, as it explains in the manual. So, here's what the amp looks like. Um, sorry, this is a little awkward for me recording right now. Because uh, my phone likes moving a lot. In no way is this a professional video, but do I want this video to be out there? Yes. Do I actually try to put time into my videos? Yes. So I just turned up the volume on uh, the phone. Oops. Uh, my bad. So... I could run it with two ohms. Uh, my bad. Because this is a two ohm stable amp, but I'm not gonna do that quite just yet. 
Um, I've already ran, uh, had it running at uh, 2 ohms. And it's great. These subs are surprisingly uh, well for, you know, being trashed. These subs were being thrown out, so I took them. Um, I might put that video in the uh, description. Uh, or if not, you could just scroll down through my channel. Um, I explained what was up with these subs. That's just one sub, right? It's this one. So there's the little setup for now. I know. It uh, it's not safe. Well, it is safe. Trust me. I know what's safe and what's not safe. I've been working with 12 volts for a while now. So there's the end of that song. So for now, I'm going to pause that. So with the California, it's not powerful enough to drive these subs. Like, um, like this one. Really, I it ticks me off that I put it like that. Because this is just brand new. I literally just got this in the mail, like, uh, in around 1-ish. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's new. Um, so far, it seems to be a very good amplifier. I would recommend it. Um, I'm going to try the outputs in a different video. I might try throwing the California uh, right here outputting to the California and then um, taking the speaker that's behind me or I might take the ones from downstairs borrow those since they're 8 ohms and it can handle 8 ohm loads and um, do that and then have both subs hooked up 2 ohm to this amp and uh, show you guys anyways um, you know, if you have any questions about this amplifier or the California, please let me know and I will try to answer them as best as I can. Have a good day.